I should probably put a sensor bar up or something. Um, well, I am, uh, I'm a very self-sufficient firefighter right now. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today playing Into the Flames, because if there's one thing I know a heck of a lot about, it's fire. Fire loves me, and it wants to be near me at all times, and whispers sweet nothings in my ear like, hey, you see that game you've got? I'm going to burn it to the ground. I am intimately connected with fire, creating it largely. Now, this game is about putting it out. We're going to be firefighters and actually try to stop fire from being fire. Now, that part I'm I'm not so good with, but we're going to see how it goes. Let me take a second to thank the developers and publishers of Into the Flames for giving me a key to this so we can check it out on the channel. I have left a link to their Steam page down below, so if you want to go and check out Into the Flames for yourself, go ahead and do that. I have done, as usual, literally nothing with this except fire it up and tweak some settings a little bit, so I'm going to jump into Academy and hope that that's the tutorial. Oh, thank God, I think it's a tutorial, or at least there's a question mark over here, and that usually leads to tutorial. Yes! Yes, I would love to press E to start the tutorial. Extinguish fire, rescue victims, clear smoke. Right. I'm going to go with clearing smoke. I think that's going to... Oh, do I have to do all of these? Because I'm not going to be good at the extinguishing fire thing. Also, I think the actual fire station is on fire. That can't be good. I'd like to use a hose. Yes, I would like to use a hose. Can I just... Can I hose this? Oh, can we just, can we just stop fire? Wait, I ran out of water. I, I've run. I've, there we go. Okay. All right. Now I'm getting somewhere. All right. Yes. Yes, I did it. I actually put out a fire. I No, stop the hose. There we go. Stop the hose. Let's not waste water here. I've put out a fire for the first time ever. Well, all right. Day one in Firefighter Academy here. Going great. Oh, there's another fire. Hang on. Hang on. There's another fire. I, I should be probably sprinting. I, I think that's probably a very good thing to be doing. Can I... Can I only use the hose once? No, there we go. Okay, okay, I'm in, I'm in. Uh, let's let's aim for the window here. Aim for the window. Aim, aim, aim for the window. Okay, here we go. We're firefighting. Oh, hi, I did a thing. Okay, this this won't go away. This That kept popping up there like three times in a row. I, I don't know if that was a bug or a glitch or something. I mostly focused on this because I, I think I got the... No, stop making that. No, no, no. Why are you here? Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna put the hose away. And then, ho oh, I left the hose going. Um, actually, I... Okay, this looks really awkward. This looks so, so awkward. I mean, I want to stop looking at this, but I can't. It's just so, so terrible that I, I need to keep watching this. I should probably put a sensor bar up or something. Uh, well, I am, uh... I'm a very self-sufficient firefighter right now. Okay, I think that box kept popping up because I was too close to that question mark. And that question mark is indeed that box. So it just kept popping up over and over and over again. I'm gonna, I'm trying to put out this fire here, but I don't seem to be able to aim into the window very well. A little, um, little off-center to where I want to be. Okay, th that's looking a little bit better. That's looking a little bit better. Okay, get in there. Not, not really putting out the fire. Well, good thing I've got my own hose. That that sounded better in my head than when it came out of my mouth. Let's um let's sprint. Wow, that just that is. Wait, can I wash the cars? Because they desperately need to be washed. Look how filthy these things are. Oh oh, can we get up there? Let's try and put that fire out. All right, water or something going in going in the going in the window here. Are we? I feel I flooded the building at this point. Boy, fire, firefighting is hard. Okay, okay, here we go. This looks like some sort of obstacle course here. Let's try and take this reasonably seriously here. As seriously as we can with my um, my self-sufficient firefighting hose. What's going on here with this thing? Okay, so this is an electrical box. And if it's sparking, we can't use water. We have to use a fire extinguisher. Very, very sensible. Uh, spraying the electrical box with water will result in being electrocuted. That's going to be a problem because I have permanent hose attached to my body. Contain the electrical box fire and deactivate it. All right, so I need the tool button. Is that a, is that a radial menu? No, no, don't, don't, don't spray the thing with water. Let's just sort of back off here. How do I get to my, my tool menu? Is there tools in the toolbox? Because, ah, access equipment, there we go. Yes, tools, I would like a tool, please. I need an extinguisher, got it. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Hasn't turned off my self-sufficient hose here. Also, I've 
accidentally turned on the sort of multiplayer chat thing, and I don't seem to be able to make it to go away. Um, how do we... There we go. All right, now we're getting somewhere. I think I'm using both water and the fire extinguisher, but I'm going to give this a shot. All right, extinguish. Ex are we extinguishing? I, I think we're extinguishing. Um, what, what does actually happen if I spray this with water? Ah, you said I'd get electrocuted. You lied to me. All right, ex am, I, am I extinguishing? Ah, there we go. All right, now I think I'm getting somewhere. Interact with the breaker box. Okay, shut it off. All right, do that. Have I, have I done that? Tutorial complete. Apparently I did. All right, again, first day in firefighter school. Go and find. I've put out a fire. I've stopped an electrical fire. Fire alarms can activate with or without fire. Find the red panel and interact with it. So just shut off the alarm. Gotcha. Yeah, it was just that simple. Just shut off the alarm. Okay, good deal. What's next on my... Wow, that looks weird. Uh, what is... I can't stop looking at it. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Hazardous barrel recovery. Leaking barrels can be found in the green gas. Smoke is very hazardous. Equip the hazardous gear found in the gear menu on the trucks. Okay. I'm probably not going to read the rest of these words. All right, so somewhere around here, probably over here, there should be some hazardous gear. Usually it's in my truck, but I'm going to assume it's in here. Wow, we got a 50-foot ladder? Seriously? That's a huge ladder. Uh, wow, there's a, there's a lot of stuff here. Where is my hazardous gear gear? Oh, it's under gear, you moron. Okay, hazardous. There we go. Hazardous gear. Oh my god, I'm a spaceman. Great, good, fantastic. Uh, get, get, okay, get out of all of that. No, get out of everything. There we go. Oh, th and my hose has not gone away. All right, so green barrels of green gas, usually, the tutorial said, usually we have to walk them. Oh, this is my, this is my decontamination tent. Usually we have to walk them over somewhere, but apparently in the tutorial here, it's just going to sort itself out. So can I go up to here and pick up the barrel? Yes, and it's sorted itself out. Apparently, in the real world, not in my tutorial area, I'd have to walk it back to the truck or somewhere. And then I go in and get decontaminated here. Am I decontaminated? I'm not taking this gear off. I like this gear. Hazardous leaking pipe. Oh, good. Great, good. Well, I've already got my hazardous gear on, so this should be fine. I'm just going to jump into the toxic goo here and see if we can uh, deal with this. Is there, where, where is the leak? I'm, I'm a firefighter. I'm, oh, I need a leak kit. Hang on, I'll be right back. So the leak kit is basically a toolbox. That, that is very, very sensible. Probably got a wrench in here or something. Uh, yeah, I want to wanna do that. All leaks patched. Use the red, the red valve. Oh, wait, did I, did I just see it? There it is. I see it. I see it. Okay, hang on. I'll, I'll get to the red valve here. It's very slow going in my space suit. No, no, wait. It's this one. It's this one over here. Okay, shut down. Shut down the pipes. Shut, shutting down the pipes. Shutting down the pipes. There we go. Okay. Sometimes it takes a few clicks on the keyboard to get it to do what you want it to do here. I'd love to make that tutorial chat thing go away or the multiplayer chat, but I don't seem to be able to do that. You know what? It's fine. Let's see what my next objective is here. All right. So we've got a bit of a bomb situation here with the propane tank. So it's going to have one flame, then it'll have two flames, then the flames go out, and then it goes boom. Tank needs to be brought back down to its first phase before shutting it off. Done by spraying the tank directly with a straight stream of water or foam. Great, I've got all the water in the world inside of me. The only problem I've got is aiming it. Okay, so can I get you? That's one flame. I assume that's one flame. I'm pretty sure I'm hitting it. Is, are we Are we getting a thing done here? Can I, can I do something stupid? Use fog pattern or nozzle. Fog pattern? Oh, oh, um, right, I'm dead. Oh no, I lost my permanent hose. I'm very upset about that. I was enjoying that. All right, let's go. Uh, yeah, the thing's still on fire. We should probably go deal with that nonsense. So uh, a fog thingamajiggy, you say. I'll, um, I'll check the old tool chest, see if we got one of those. There's the tool chest right there. So I needed a fog thing and another thing that I don't immediately remember. Oh dear, that can't be good. Oh no. Oh no, so we're, we're getting to the point where it's going to go boom. Is there a, um, wow, a chainsaw. Ooh, ooh, can I do, can I do chainsaw? 
I'd like to have chainsaw. I should probably stop saying that and actually um, actually look for the things I need. So a fog thingy? You got some kind of fog thingy here? No, I don't immediately see that. I'm probably going to go back to chainsaw for this. Rotary saw would be good. Those are awesome. Uh, let's go here. So what exactly, again, what is it that you need me to do here? Uh, use the fire hose. Okay, there we go. All right, we're going to get you back to your first state here where you're only one flame. That's that's what I'm hoping anyway. Can I, um, what bit am I supposed to be spraying? Is it this bit? I would assume, now I'm no firefighter, but I'm going to assume that I should be spraying the bit that has the fire. Well, I'm spraying this thing all day and it just ain't doing what I want it to do here, which is making the fire go away. Uh, remind me the thing, a fog pattern on nozzle. Oh, so I got to get a like a different nozzle here. Where do, where do I get one of those? Well, kind of good news, bad news here. I cannot figure out where the fog nozzle is. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. I just can't seem to figure it out. So that thing's going to go ahead and explode. The good news is my permanent hose is back. Let's see what we could do with the truck over here. This seems fun. Ladder trucks. Yeah, you got a 50-foot ladder on this thing somewhere. Uh, what do I do with this? Go ahead and use the ladder truck to reach the roof of the three-story building. Okie dokie. So how do we go about doing that? Yeah, no, I'd, actually, I do want to access equipment. You got a fog nozzle in here. Uh, axes, hooks, a broom? Wait, just a broom? Can we just sweep up? Uh, yeah, apparently we can just, we just sweep up a little bit around here. Sweeping up fire. Not as effective as you might commonly think it would be. Well, I assume if I gotta get up to the top of the building, I need a... That is not a 50-foot ladder. That is... That is not a 50-foot ladder. Okay, okay, okay. There are a lot of things that I have no clue about. No knowledge, no nothing. Nuclear physics. No clue how nuclear physics works. I'm sure a nuclear physicist could tell me. But I actually do know a fair bit about ladders. This is not a 50-foot ladder. At best, that might be an 18. Maybe. And I don't even think it's that. What do you think I can do with this alleged 50-foot ladder here? Can I, can I put this... Oh, I can. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That did not have that much of an extension to it. Okay, I know how ladders are put together. I actually do. This, th that ain't cutting it. Oh, but we're up, though. And we're, we're up and we're hosing. Uh, problem is I don't know how to get... There we go. Couldn't figure out how to get off. Um, you. Can, can I... Should I do something with you? Oh, uh... I, I think I put him in my pocket. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I deal with the propane tank from here? This might be a much safer area to do that from. Where did that propane tank go? It's kind of over on that side. Boy, that thing is burning. Also, this is really not a safe ladder placement. Not even a little bit. That is going to get somebody killed. That's going to keel right over. Um, okay, there we go. Aiming. Aiming. This is so much safer than being right next to it. Now, how do I how do I get back on the ladder? Ah, there we go. There we go. All right. So, kind of um, not really climbing the rungs here as much as we're sort of skating down. Um, I think I did your thing. I believe I have blown off many of the tutorials, but apparently over here is the final test. 100 North Oak Road, house fire with subjects trapped. Use what you have learned. <laughs> oh, such optimism from you. Extinguish the fire, all the fire. Extinguish all the fire. Rescue any victims and ventilate. Okay, well, I've got perma hose. So fire, the fire is not a problem. I can just walk through this building and permahose this place. There we go. Yeah. Fire is no match for me. This fire is getting so much bigger. So much bigger. Um, I, I need help. Okay, progress is beginning to be made. It's a little hard to aim when the hose is coming. I, no, I can't even say what I was about to say. It's a little hard to aim. That You know what? I'm just going to leave it at that. It's a little hard to aim with my permahose in, in this configuration, I would say. Um, how about we start at the top and work down? Can I can I do that? Can we maybe get the the fire out up here, and then maybe the water will go downstairs over time and take care of the bottom floor? This is a this is a very resistant fire, and we're spraying and we're spraying. Do you want me to do this from a different direction? Maybe I'm supposed to be hitting other parts of the house first. Uh, let's see. How about how about this window? All right, let's try and get stuff in this window here. 
Is that doing anything for you? Not really. Okay, this is a... I'm going to say the house is a loss, frankly. Uh, this is... This is totaled. And whoever is in there... Here's the bad news. They're waiting on me. All right, they're waiting on me to save them. So, poor choice on their part. I mean, I'm pretty sure the, the water is going in the window up there. I feel this should be putting out fire. Water versus fire under... Wow, it's really, really getting explosive around here. I'm just going to back off. Um, water versus fire under most conditions will do the trick. I mean, not a grease fire or an electrical fire or many other kinds of fire, but water versus regular fire, just like day-to-day -day fire, is going to do the trick. It doesn't... I probably need an actual hose, not just one coming out of my pants. See, here's what I think. I think the game, despite my permanent hose here, I think the game is not recognizing that I actually have a fire hose. Let's try it now. Let's see if this does the trick. Are we, get, are we getting less fiery? How's, how's the fire situation going on over here? I've got a real hose this time. Oh yeah, that's, that's what it needed. Okay, so the hose coming out of my body, not so good, but this hose... This hose is working out just fine. There we go. That fire's out. Now we're fighting fires around here. I can't can't really see where I'm aiming there. Okay. All under control. Um, survivors, if indeed there are any left inside the building, I figured it out, and I'm going to be in there probably today, maybe after lunch. I'm kind of thinking about leaving the fire upstairs for decorative purposes, but that might be a survivor up in there. Okay, that's out. And I see kind of a hot spot in there. Let's see if we can get that going. And it looks like there's more fire around the back. Uh, right, yep, there we go. I found some more fire. I found some... That fire's out. Uh, can we get the stuff on the roof? Is that... Uh, can we just spray up on the roof there? I'm pretty sure firefighters do things like that. And this one in here... Oh, there's another... I see another hot spot in there. Probably want to get that contained. Oh, this one's a wily fire. This fire is escaping my water. Okay, can we get that, that spot over there? That seems very, very hot over there. Okay. Yep, no, I see this is kind of reigniting itself. I'm coming. I'm one guy here. I'm one firefighter to do all the firefighting. The fire itself appears to be out. I'm just having a little... Well, this fire is out. The fire at the propane tank, not so much. That is gorgeous, though. I think we should leave that there. Okay, put the... um. How do I put my... There we go. Put the hose away. No, actually, just put the hose away. I, I don't want any more hose. There we go. And what do I need in here? What can I have? Um, how about an axe? I'm going to get an axe. Eh, running is for suckers. I'm just going to casually go in here. Oh, there is a... There's a flashlight. Oh, hang on, hang on. I should probably equip my mask. Uh, what What is mask? Is that hopefully M? No, of course it's not. No, actually it was M. It just... Maybe I, I can't see my face. Maybe I do have a mask on. I put this air tank thing on. And I figured out there's my flashlight right there. So I got to... Yeah, no, no, no. Wait. I do have my mask equipped, I think. Are you going to... I wish I could see my own face, see if I have a mask on. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Come on, keep keep chopping. Keep keep chopping. Um, I think, are we inside? It's very dark in here. Is this common during firefighting? Okay, well, now Into the Flames has turned into some weird first-person psychological horror game. Uh, flashlight not really doing what I needed to do. I gotta tell you, if there's survivors here, good luck. Oh, hang on, a vault. No, no, I mean vaulting. Vaulting, like jumping over. Okay, I, I want to... I, I don't know if I've done that or not. Okay, survivors, if indeed there are any left, can you kind of yell out to me or something? They might actually be doing that. I have the volume muted in my headphones. There might be somebody going, Oh my god, why do you keep stepping on me? I can't, um... I actually would like to go back outside. I, I just... I don't know... I don't know where it is, and I don't know what I'm looking at. Hang on, I want to go back outside. This place is making me nervous and afraid. Oh, thank goodness, I found my way back outside, and, um, I don't know how fussed I'm going to be with those survivors. It's very, very dark in there. I know all of their lights have been destroyed, but, you know, the windows are wide open and the sun is up. Maybe. Uh, oh, hang on, there's more fire. Sorry, guys, I, I thought I dealt with that issue. I'll be right back. Oh, well, that's just not fair. Now the fire is hiding. There was totally fire in there, and now there's no fire. Wily fire. Okay, um, guys, again, if there are survivors in there, could you just kind of call out or make your way to the front of the building? Okay, make your way to the front of the building where I will be ready to receive you in daylight. Ah, there's fire. I see you. Oh, I've done... Wait, I did it? 
I, how did I do that? Well, I think my work here is done. I've successfully put out the fire here on Oak Street. I've clearly ventilated the building by allowing it to burn mostly to the ground. And that is some great ventilation there. The propane tank's still on fire. Uh, that has really not resolved itself like I kind of hoped that it would. That ladder is so dangerously placed, it's kind of freaking me out. That is going to get one of these firefighters killed. Not me, but one of these firefighters is definitely going to get killed on that ladder that I put up. And I think that's an excellent place to call it a day on Into the Flames with my permanent hose just spraying everything in its path. This is, this is so awkward to look at. Guys, do please let me know in the comments what you thought of Into the Flames. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. You know what, kids? I'm the camp counselor who's going to teach you the truth. All right? None of this mamby-pamby kumbaya nonsense. All right? We are learning the truth here. The truth is death and disappointment and theft. Basically, I did the theft. Everything else is on you. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I don't I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman. So once again, the fish are on fire. And uh, you're on fire. Isabella is in fact on fire. The YouTube award ceremony for the best YouTubers of the time. I think this may be a mild exaggeration. I look like I'm paralyzed with fear and or hunger up on stage there. <laughs>